have an idea and that idea is is to create youtube videos i have a stained fingertip without any cuts whatsoever so just like five or six minute videos with no cuts so you see the good the bad and the ugly of beauty content with no edits authenticity could not be more alive and well dry skin or something else we'll never know all right that said i'm going to show you a quick hack or a few quick tricks to touch up this makeup in less than five minutes i've had this on since about eight o'clock this morning i'm first up gonna touch up the eyebrow so i'm just gonna go in with the exact same product that i used this morning which was my nabla eyebrow liner and I'm just gonna flick it back in to those areas where I've lost product and I lost product because of the weather or maybe because of the the rain today or the temperature in the rooms I'm gonna make them a little more exaggerated and that's kind of what we have and I'm shooting these in the front camera of my phone and I intend to upload directly to YouTube from my phone because YouTube has been something that's intimidated me for a long time and that can be the reasons I would say that is is because I feel like there's a lot more steps with YouTube and the editing has to be a bit more premium or prestige or you know the sort of flow of the content is a little bit more produced than it is let's say on TikTok or Instagram but why does it have to be so we're at one minute and 45 seconds and I'm just messing now I don't need to be spending that amount of time on my brows so I'm now gonna go straight in with a bit more concealer. I'm gonna use my Ultra HD for Makeup Forever in the shade 21. I'm just gonna go in there and clean up the liner first and then just go in for a little bit more coverage around my jaw. Uh, and I'm gonna take a little brush. This is a Sculpt number no. four with Ash, uh, Ash Holm and Spectrum, Sculpt by Spectrum. Just to even out a little bit of the redness. I did just go red again yesterday for the first time in about a year in the hair category feels much healthier than it was when it was blonde i did like being blonder but i missed the sort of fieriness that comes out in my personality when i have a bit more red in my hair um and the tone and what it does to my eye color and my skin tone and so on and so forth but um it always takes me a minute to sort of figure out my makeup whilst changing my hair color so this brush is a little big for around my eyes but i'm already there so i'm just gonna rock it and just let it let it happen let me see if I should bring the, temp, the brightness down just a little. Okay. So if this format works and people like this format of YouTube, I think I can get down with this. Like five little minute videos where it's just me, the camera, some makeup, and it's live for that same day. And you'll have to let me know what you think about that. Okay. And then obviously they'll live on on YouTube. So a little bit more perfected. I didn't go intentionally over that pink part of my cheek because I actually quite like that. It's like giving me that free blush vibe. Because I have on um, a little bit of a liner look, I'm just gonna take the eyeshadow that I actually had on earlier today, which I don't know where I've put it. Here it is. The eyeshadow that I had on earlier today was this um, Black Magic Color Palette from Oma Beauty. And I had just used that black shadow. And I'm just gonna actually go in with the exact same brush that I used earlier and just re-sort of define everything. Um, and sort of just re-deepen the root of the lash with the liner. The one thing that's weird filming my phone right now is my phone is on a vertical, on a horizontal. Not a vertical, which I'm new, so much more used to shooting my phone, shooting with my phone on a vertical versus horizontal, but you get used to it, I guess. But I hope that people like this format and we'll see what happens. Okay, so just adding a little bit more of that so that I've got a touch more of that sort of depth from the wing. And then I'm just looking straight into my mirror. Um, and by looking straight into the mirror, what you do is you let the eyelid kind of be where it naturally wants to be, as opposed to doing any of this or sort of pulling the eyelid tight and then getting a shape that's not really actually natural to your eye. It's best to do the liner whether you're using this kind of format or a liquid liner, best to do it with your eyes, most natural and looking forward. Um, I'm gonna just top up what lip I had on earlier, which was a little bit of Endless Cacao from Make It Forever. I have too much shine on my lips, so I'm gonna take some of that down, um, just with a towel. 
and then I'm just going to use a little bit of that concealer that's in the brush and then do a touch of shadow at the lip edge okay so really as you can see that took no more than five minutes to sort of give myself that little bit of a refresh the one thing that I might do is just add a little bit of a pink lip color and some powder and I think I think I think I think and by pink I'm going to use a little bit of killer queen from NARS just a little and just I'll smear it in just for a touch of pigment the richer in color the pigment the more things you can do with it the less color the product has the less things you can do with it I think I will play with the concept of just different angles with my camera here but I kind of like this format this was easy this was seamless and I hope that watching this without any edits or any cuts was helpful I just changed from pulling to pressing because I found the pulling was removing as I was applying and so doing too much of that wasn't really helping me because it was removing other things but by just pressing it in you're actually just therefore stamping in that color and not necessarily disturbing anything that's underneath sometimes if you pull you're kind of removing as you apply so you can do you can end up doing that same mistake with brushes but brushes typically are softer than fingertips um it's very hard to know where to look my face is there the camera is there anyway um quick and easy touched up the look I could add a bit of powder to make it a bit more perfect. This was a bit closer to 10 minutes, seven. We're at seven minutes, um, but maybe people don't mind that. I feel like I feel like there's a discrepancy in whether people like short form or long form content these days, but I guess that's the benefit of YouTube is you can have a little bit of a longer form content over here. All right, that is it. That was my first YouTube video in about a year. The last one that I did was, um, cleansing my face and I hope you like this one let me know if you have any questions and I'm just going to put this up there bare raw real and let's chat in the comments